Excitement is in the air today at the St. Catharines Lock 3 Museum. The 187th Top Hat Ceremony is kicking off the official opening of the Welland Canal. Really, it's all about tradition and the tradition of wearing a top hat for special occasions, tipping your hat to recognize a special person or a special occasion, and recognizing the, uh, the importance of the fur trade, because top hats were made from beaver pelts, uh, the fur trade in the opening up of Canada, and the opening of the Great Lakes through the Welling Canal. The top hat was presented to Captain Jason Church. Captain Church has been working on the Great Lakes since 1993. I felt great. It was uh, 23 years in the making. I've been working with CSL. I started as a cadet and I've uh, worked my, all, uh, my way all the way up to uh, being the captain of the great ship uh, like the Thunder Bay. Where's the ship going? Uh, the ship is loaded with salt and we're bound for uh, Bowmanville, Ontario. We loaded the salt in Windsor. And th when? Now? Yesterday. We left yesterday. And okay. we'll be arriving in Bowmanville tonight. Okay. Now, is there anything else you'd like to uh, add? You're getting a lot of attention today. How does that feel? Uh, it's, it, it's very surreal. I, I, as I said, it's been 23 years I've been with this company, and it's, it's an absolute honor to be part of something like this today, opening the Welland Canal this year. The St. Lawrence Seaway travels through two countries and affects eight states and two provinces. We work hand in hand with the Canadian Seaway Corporation to make sure that people have a seamless uh, transit. They don't know that they're crossing the border 27 times, which is what happens to a vessel when they go through the system. Um, we don't want them to feel that. We want them to feel that it is a safe, efficient and reliable uh, service that we offer. And so we work on, hard on it to make sure that happens. And what challenges do you face in making that happen? Well, you know what? We work very well together, um, but it takes coordination. Um, certainly, operationally, we have to uh, engage in a lot of communication with our counterparts across the border um, and, and certainly work with the states and the provinces along the way and the local communities. So it's a pretty amazing governance model if you think about it. Despite challenging economic times, the Seaway Corporation is set to make investments that will impact Niagara. You know, we, 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 we know there's ups and downs in the economy. We've been through it before. And so we're investing for the future. We continue to invest for the future. And so next year we're investing $105 million, uh, of which $65 million is in the, the Niagara area. So obviously that has a big impact on the area. And, uh, you know, it's, it's amongst the highest uh, amounts that we've invested over the years. The Welling Canal is uh, a big part of our uh, traffic flow. We get a lot of people who come here because they want to be able to be right up close and see the ships in the lock. And so the opening of the canal season usually means the opening of the busy season for us, which was really nice. Uh, it's a little slower in the winter time, uh, but for us, the Welling Canal really means opening the Welling Canal really means that it's you know down to business and back to business and opened up for more traffic. So would you say it's a local point for tourism? It's definitely a local point for tourists. It's official. The Welland Canal is now open for business. In St. Catharines, I'm Brenda Schultz reporting for The Source.